Hello, Paul again from EMD Automotive Academy by Sydney. I'm just going to go through this part here on the V6. Just going to go through the actual parts and leaks on this car on the V6 diesel. And the reason why they leak because they are plastic. Alright, number one, this one here. Alright, number two, water pump. Water pump leaks, this one leaks. They all leak. Once you see that kind of leak there, like that, replace the water pump. We place this cover here, that top EGR cooler pipe flange, and the bottom part there, where the hose go to, there's a vacuum flange as well. Vacuum control flange cooling system, opens up and closes, controls by a solenoid that sits on top here. Alright, so we go one flange, two front cover plastic uh, rear uh, top plastic cover and the water pump you know that's that's the biggest um, um, weak, weakest link on this uh, engine when they leak they leak and there's uh, no other way to do it some people just replace that in the bottom part and then hopefully it doesn't leak and then they find out six months later this part leak then you're gonna do the whole job again again and there's a lot of pain to go through and you gotta waste money again just to do the same thing all over again and don't forget to remove this cooler here and check it so remove the cooler out and then check the gaskets make sure the gaskets are, if they're not leaking just replace the top gasket for the cooler and remove the bottom housing for the cooler and, and replace the bottom part as well top and bottom gaskets alright I'm gonna do a video of the actual parts you need but you're going to need two gaskets for here, top and bottom, that's two. Number three is the cooling, uh, EGR cooling flange. Number four is the vacuum flange, the bottom there, with the vacuum, um, vacuum uh, solenoid, sorry, the vacuum, uh, top vacuum with the vacuum line going into. And the other one is this one, and the actual water pump. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.